Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we have a new planner on the market. It is the COSAC Weekly Planner. Now, I have reviewed the COSAC Daily Planner in a previous video. This is their Daily Planner. Both are available on Amazon. And I will put these links down below and I will also link the video to their Daily Planner. This is their Daily Planner and I will link that video. But today's video is about their brand new weekly planner. This is an undated weekly planner with a very flexible layout with dot grid. It is 30 weeks, so six months worth of planning. So the book is really portable, not thick at all, not heavy. It comes with two bands. It's a two banded system. So you can just use the back band if you want to, which is a thicker band. You can use the front band if you want to perhaps mark a page in here is what I'm thinking I would use it for. It's a thinner band, but you can also use that to close your entire book if you wanted to. It works for that also. But I personally think I would use the thinner band to be marking a spot in the planner. And then I would use the back band to close my planner. That's just how I would use it. At the top of the COSAC planner here, you have a spot that works as a perfect pen holder that will never fall off and fits pretty much any size pen. You just slip it right inside your top band and it slides in and out really easily right there and hooks right into the band. It's a very secure spot. It has a fabulous accordion pocket in the back, really big, tough, you have two grow grain ribbons to mark your spots. One is burgundy and one is black. So you can have one on your month and one on your week. And we will get into the weekly layout and how this is all laid out. You have two pockets in here. Like I already mentioned, you have the accordion pocket in the back, but you also have this little pocket in the front right here. Here is your nameplate page. After your nameplate page, you go straight into your monthly view right here. Now, this is an undated planner. They do give you these shaded little gray boxes, which really help in an undated planner, I find, at least for me, to keep your numbering looking neat in there in an undated planner. So I personally like having those little boxes for guidance in an undated planner. You have room to write your month and your monthly focus. Then your notes section is all dot grid down the side and along the bottom. And if you'll take a look here, they give you enough boxes so you're never having to half a box for any month. You're never having to use a half a box for a day. You always have a full box for a day. After your monthly view, you go into your two page spread that is before every single week. So before every weekly layout, you have this two page spread. It's labeled notes, mind map, creativity. So this side is for anything and everything that you could possibly need it for. You, of course, could use it for just your list for the week. You could use it for reminders. You could use it for your notes. You could use it for mind map, for practice lettering, whatever you want to. This COSAC planner has combined the flexibility of a bullet journal with like layouts from like productivity and goal oriented planners. So if you want something similar to a bullet journal, yet you don't want to have to draw out every single one of your spreads, you want a little guidance, you want a little of it done for you to save on the time, then this would be a great planner for you. You have a weekly focus box, weekly tasks, then you have two little boxes, make it daily for health and habits. What daily things do you want to focus on for your health and habits and do it every day? And then you have a personal to-do list. So as you can see, it's very open. That's why I said it kind of combines the flexibility of a bullet journal, but it does give you some guidance with their layouts that are similar to, you know, productivity planners and goal oriented planners. After that two page spread that comes before every single week. So I kind of call it like your weekly prep spread. Then you have your weekly layout. It is a horizontal weekly layout dot grid. You have a little line dividing every single day, and then you have a little teeny vertical line in here. So I imagine that's where I would write like the date right in there before the day. The dot grid and all the print in this book is a kind of a dark charcoal gray, which I like. I find that's easier on the eyes than just stark black. 
your Saturday and Sunday you do have less room on. So your Saturday and Sunday share a space and then you also have your health and habits tick off boxes down here at the bottom of Sunday for the week. So you have seven boxes for your health and then for your habits that you're having you have two rows of seven. So you could be tracking your health plus two other habits there. That is your weekly layout, horizontal layout. This would also make a stellar journal being that it's horizontal and there is your dot grid to guide you, you know, kind of like lines. So I think this would also make an awesome journal or a gratitude journal, or if you're just tracking how you feel every day, or you're tracking perhaps like a health issue, like a chronic condition, this would be a good place to journal that every day and keep track of it because you also have your monthly spread to keep track of that. So you have five weeks for every month are in between. So after your monthly layout, you have five weeks. And before every week, like I said, you have like your two weekly prep pages, and then you have your weekly spread, and then you have your two weekly prep pages, and then you have your weekly spread. And you have five weeks in between every monthly layout since it's undated. And you know, some months have five weeks. Here is my pen test. Their paper is 100 GSM which is really typical paper for most planners. And as you can see, that flare pen, I just wrote it. It just did a little smear there. So maybe flare pen isn't the better, the best for this paper, but it is not a slick paper. It's smooth, but I wouldn't call it slick. And it's really nice. It's a nice thickness. It's a 100 GSM. You can see how all the pen shows up on there and my mild liner and different colored pens. And now you can see I did a fountain pen, pen, which I always have a request for. So let's turn it over and take a look. And you can really see it on this side because there is nothing on this page but a dot grid. But there is no bleed through at all, even on the fountain pen. There just is some ghosting there. That's the fountain pen. So it's really good paper for the price of this planner. Like I said, this planner can be found on Amazon and I will put that link down below for you. There are 30 weeks in here. So after every five weeks, you get a monthly spread. So you would have to buy two of these planners to cover one year, but that does make it a portable book. It would be double this size and much heavier. This feels so lightweight, you guys. This can definitely be thrown in a bag to commute every day. It can definitely be even thrown in a purse, really. Feels very lightweight being only six months in here. So then you get an, your next month, and then you have your five weeks. And that is how this whole planner flows. Then after your 30 weeks that are in here, so many people, this is something to point out too, which I forgot to point out. Your month starts on a Sunday start, and your week is on a Monday start. And that is typical. That's what the majority of people want. So I wanted to make sure to point that out. I wanted to point out, that it is not always the norm in these undated planners, especially these undated bound planners like this, for you to have your monthly layout and then your weeks following and then your monthly layout and your weeks following. And many people love that pattern. So this one goes in that pattern and they are not all like that. Now what this planner has that makes it really flexible and bullet journal like and unique are 50 dot grid note pages at the end, you guys. 50. Here are your 50 dot grid note pages. So you do not need to ever carry a separate notebook with you, ever. You could even number these pages and then make an index on the first page here of your note section. So if you need to keep track of meetings at work or of just things going on in your life and you want to remember where you took notes on a certain page with a certain phone call or in a certain meeting or notes at a doctor's appointment, then if you make an index here and you number your pages, it would be really easy to be able to go back and find those notes. So that is why this planner is only six months also, is they wanted to be able to give you 50 note pages at the end. They are all that same dot grid. That way you have basically a notebook with you at all times in this planner. Also, 16 of these pages at the end are perforated. So if you need to tear them out, here they are, the last 16 pages right here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but they are perforated so that they can easily be torn out if you need to, you know, tear out your notes and give them to someone or make notes of something and take it with you. 
That's the last 16 pages of this book. So that is the entire COSAC weekly planner. Here are your double bands like I mentioned, and you have the two very nice grow grain ribbons. Now I've reviewed a lot of these daily undated planners, but I feel like this one is very unique. And the reasons why are the 50 note pages at the end, the double bands, which gives you access to mark something else in your book, like I said. So you have two ribbons and you might want, you know, one ribbon on your week and you might want one ribbon on your notes and you might want to use the band to mark your monthly page or something like that because it would be nice to have your notes section marked too. But you do have the two ribbons and one could mark your week and one could mark your month. They are long enough ribbons because sometimes ribbons are not made long enough where you can slide them out like that in your book the way that I feel ribbons should be used. Like, I would love to hear your thoughts on this little weekly planner. I would love to know what you're thinking about it. If you have used the COSAC daily, I would also love to hear that down in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. Happy planning and we'll see you next time.